A businessman in London makes a call to America. T. R. U. Hello, Trunks? I want to make a call to America. His voice is put through from his local telephone exchange to the international switchboard at Faraday Building. To New York. I want a exchange. From there, it goes by landline to Rugby radio station. At Rugby, the voice is amplified 120 million times. It's carried from a shortwave transmitter to one of the arrays, or systems of aerials. New York is waiting. From the array, the voice is projected into the upper atmosphere in the direction of New York. This is Max. Max. I'm talking from London. I can't hear. The voice replying from New York Hello? is transmitted yeah. from Lawrenceville, Hello, New Jersey. But it isn't received at Rugby. Hello? Hello, yes? It Max? comes over to Baldock, and thence back to Faraday House, where the two voices are put together as a conversation. Now, on their way over the Atlantic, these telephone voices meet various troubles. The electrical waves which carry the voices are reflected up and down between the surface of the Earth and a layer of the atmosphere called the ionosphere. It's here that trouble begins, because the ionosphere is continually shifting about and also fluttering. These movements are probably due to the sun. For example, when there are sunspots in the sun, the ionosphere flutters most. And then there's another trouble. Instead of the waves crossing the Atlantic by one path only, they split up along different paths. Any two paths will have slightly different lengths, and one wave will arrive after the other. And the result is that the two waves get slightly out of rhythm. Then, with the movement of the ionosphere, the amount that they're out of rhythm keeps on varying. But sometimes they add up, and sometimes they cancel right out. If they arrive at Baldock at a moment when they're cancelling out, the voice fades away. <laughs> 